This is the story of Blinky Bill and Flap and Nazi too. And Wombo, Ruff and Marcia and Splodge the Kangaroo. Now they all lived in Green Patch Town as happy as can be. With friends and neighbours all around, the same as you and me. But then one dark and gloomy night, when all the bush was still, some bandits came and stole the trees to feed their wood chip mill. And when at last the morning came, the timber trucks moved on. And there where Green Patch used to be, the little town was gone. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, save us from that wood chip mill. If you don't do it, no one will. Good old Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill. Good old Blinky Bill. So come and see what happens next to Blinky and his friends. But ten to one, you'll never guess the way the story ends. Watch Blinky help to save the bush and replant every tree. So come on, we'll rebuild the town. Just you watch and see. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, save us from that wood chip mill. If you don't do it, no one will. Good old Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Pack Hill. Good old Blinky Bill. Save us from that wood chip mill If you don't do it, no one will Good old Blinky Bill Hey, hey, Blinky Bill Get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill Good old Blinky Bill Good on ya, Blinky! children. Won't that be fun? Just like old times, Miss Magpie. Fun? School's about as much fun as sitting on a bull ant's nest. <laughs> Binky Bill, stop daydreaming for once and help put the books away like the other children are. Yeah, sure, Miss Magpie. Anything to help. Finished, Miss Magpie. Oh, thank you, Mr. Wombat. <laughs> yep, what I found. Now, children, form a line. Where's Blinky Bill? Here I am. She wouldn't see an elephant at the end of a beak. <laughs> oh, what did you say, Blinky Bill? I said we'll be back at school in a week, Miss. Don't Push metal. I look the best. I should be first. Oh, I look the best. Oh, I should be first. Oh dear! There's a storm coming. Into the school, everyone! <laughs> hey, miss! Why don't you sit down? Um, thank you, Blinky. What on earth was that? Thunder, miss. You are naughty, Blinky. Ah, I think he's funny myself. Blinky, I'm so frightened. May I sit next to you? That metal's not scared of lightning. She just wants Blinky, Marcia. Oh, 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 Blinky. Oh, Blinky. I thought this was supposed to be a storm. Where's the rain? You don't always get rain with lightning, dummy. Yes, children. At this time of year, we often get dry lightning, which can cause bushfires. Ah! Oh! Stay inside, children. 
It's too dangerous. <laughs> I can smell burning. Fire! Look! The new school! The new school's burning! Fire! Oh, what are you doing? I'm blowing the flames out. Flap, you can laugh. You're making it worse. Get some sand, Myrtle. Oh, I'll do it, Blinky. <laughs> I saved you, miss. Oh, thank you, Blinky. The fire's following me. <sighs> it's all out now. Nice shooting, Augustus. My mouth's the best water pistol in the world. Augustus, you tripped me. I was leading the fire to the water and you got in my way. <sighs> Do you know what started it, Miss Magpie? I hope my Blinky hasn't been messing around with fire. Mum! Oh, of course I haven't. It was lightning. Oh, the school might have burned down. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't have put the fire out. The whole village might have gone up in flames, and we haven't finished building it yet. How dreadful. To lose our homes a second time. Come on, gang. I've got an idea. It might be a really big fire next time. We've got to be ready for it. Or the school might be completely destroyed. Ha, who cares what happens to that silly old school? I care. School's good for learning. Like, two and two is... Uh... Five. Splodge. I like stories the best. Remember the one about the six silly snakes sitting on the seat? Forget the school. We can't let anything happen to our homes. So I think we should start a fire brigade. A fire brigade? You're so clever. So how are we going to do it, Mr. Clever? We gotta put our heads together. Fire always fires me. Oh, I could lead it to the creek and... The fire will drown? That's a stupid idea. <sighs> Blowing it out didn't seem to work either. It won't work. We haven't got a fire station. What about Gloop's storehouse? Come on, old Gloop won't mind. Oh, maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> It's got a good tall tree for a lookout. Someone's sitting up there and spot fires at once. Yeah, and it's right next to Gloop's Cafe. And that's good for business. Good for business. Ooh, all right then. <laughs> fire station. We'll still need a fire bell. And I know where to borrow one. Wait there. Spectacles. Miss! Ah! Oh, 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 on your beak, miss. On my beak? Uh, but I can't see. Have you done one of your tricks again, Blinky? No way. Just try and read a book. You'll see. Aha! Uh -huh, I can see. Oh, um, magpies are the least intelligent of all the birds. Who wrote this rubbish? They couldn't have met me. 
uh, keep reading, miss. It's good for your eyes. And you might learn something and too. Magpies are not only stupid, they're also short-sighted and occasionally aggressive. Blinky! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> what did Miss Magpie say? Oh, she doesn't mind. She's, uh, busy. <laughs> it means, in case of emergency, ring bell. What emergency? Fire, you pea brain platypus. Or rescuing dummies like you stuck up trees or in a hole. Now we need a fire engine. There's Wombo's wheelbarrow. Maybe we should ask him first. It's got more holes than a spiny anteater's waistcoat. What did you want it for, young Blinky? We need a fire engine to carry water. Then you'll need something much bigger than my old wheelbarrow. Oh, there's a hollow log which might do. Come on. Well, what do you think? Hmm, ends need blocking. Better work for someone. Gee, thanks, Wombo. When can you start? Don't call me. Help! Help! My bunnies! It said, ring in case of emergency. Two of my bunnies are trapped up a tree. I've just cooked lunch for them and it'll be getting cold. Fire brigade, to the rescue! Lead the way, Mrs. Rabbit. Help! Help! Get us down! We're hungry and frightened! Let's go, Nutsy. This is a job for the experts. Koalas and trees uh, go together. Uh, come on, bunnies. Ready, Nutsy? Ready. Do be careful, Blinky. Put your paw there. <laughs> One, two, you naughty rabbits. Your lunch will be stone cold. Where's Blinky? Ooh, looks like a job for the fire brigade. We need Mayor Pelican's ladder. Uh, come on, Flap. As the mayor of Green Patch, it gives me great pleasure. I mean, no, 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 no. As the esteemed mayor of Green Patch, it gives me very great pleasure. And I, oh, 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 what was that funny noise? Well, it sounds like somebody yelling for help. It's probably Blinky. But come on, we better hurry. Oh, where are they? They must be building a ladder instead of just borrowing one. Oops, it's too short. You two stand on it. Climb on Splodge's shoulders, Flap. Phew! You really should wash your feet sometimes, Flap. I always wanted to be taller, but not like this. We're down. Hold on, Flap, while I undo my button. Oh, sounds like Blinky. Where can I find a ladder? Blinky, what do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm just, um, hanging around. I hope you haven't torn your pants again, Blinky. Take a corner each. Ready, set. I'll undo your button, Blinky. Yes, Mum. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Hey, can we do it again? Oh, Blinky. Now, Flap and Splodge, take Mayor Pelican's yes. ladder back. He's probably still hanging on. There's the Mayor. What's he up to? That looks dangerous, Mayor Pelican. Yeah, you ought to use your ladder for jobs like that. It'd be <laughs> much safer. <laughs> Wombo's made it watertight. It's full. Blinky, Blinky, come with me. Oh, what 
Does she want to smile? She'll do anything to get Blinky down by the creek. Ah, stop that bell. Come on, gang. We'll need the log. The water makes it too heavy. Oh, Blinky, save us. Hey, it'd be lighter if we poured the water out. Flap, flap. Quick, we'll find Augustus instead. Wait for me. Come on, come on. Yeah, hurry, go. Ah, my bell. There he is. Hey, Augustus. Yes. We need water to put a fire out. Please help, Augustus. Right, Myrtle. Show us the fire. Pick him up. Stop it. Put me down. You're, you're turning me into a snake shake. This row. Oh, blimey. We'll have to carry him over that. Put me down, please. I feel sick. Oh, okay, gang. Put him down. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> Squirt. <laughs> Water. I've got <laughs> hiccups. Oh, Blinky. Whatever shall we do? I'll count to three and we'll all sit on him. One. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> Two. That's such a good idea. Three! Who did that? You, Blinky Bill. Uh oh, I should have guessed. You've ruined my carrot stew. I'll tell your mother, Blinky Bill. Well, have you seen my school bell, Mrs. Rabbit? Blinky Bill took it, Mrs. Magpie. Wherever there's trouble, you'll find Blinky Bill. He's ruined my lunch and caught my babies up a tree. It's this ridiculous fire brigade idea. Just an excuse for mischief, if you ask me. Too true, Mrs. Rabbit. Too true. I'll never drink water again. All oh, that Blinky Bill. Blinky! Mrs. Rabbit told Miss Magpie. Miss Magpie told Mayor Pelican. Mayor Pelican told my mum. No more fire brigades for me. Blinky, I looked everywhere for you. I'm sorry about Mrs. Rabbit. Grown-ups never understand. I think your fire brigade's marvellous, Blinky. You do? Oh, the fridge! How are we going to get back? Blinky, I'm scared. Oh, the storm's going away. Hmm. And no rain. Oh, I wonder where Blinky is. I might be able to see him from the top of the tree. It'll move all right with those wheels. Gee, thanks, Wombo. Mr. Gloop here lent us the rope. You can pull it along with that. Yeah. Fire! Fire! It's a real one this time. Come on! Hurry up! Yeah, we're coming, we're coming! Hurry! Fire! The fire! Oh, my! My bell! So that's where it is! I bet Blinky Bill's got something to do with this again! Oh, come on! Move it, move! We're Hurry! To. Hey, wait for us! There it is! Wait for us! Come on! Move! <laughs> That's Blinky and Myrtle. We're trapped. Look, the bridge is gone. We have to put the fire out. But how? Oh, I know. We'll push the log over the edge 
Undo the rope. It'll get in the way. Good work, gang. The fire's nearly out. But there's still a lot of smoke. They can't climb down with all that smoke. I've got an idea. Hey, Nutsy, I need that rope. Tie one end to that branch above you. And uh, throw the other end to me. Hurry, Nutsy. <coughs> Be careful, Nutsy. Catch. Oh. <laughs> Hold on to me. <laughs> I said I'd look after you. Oh, my dress is ruined. It's all your fault, Blinky Bill. I'll never speak to you ever again. Oh. Ooh, extraordinary! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fire's all out now. Yes. <sighs> well. Our homes are safe. Oh, oh, just look at your pants. Oh, Mom. Oh, that could have been a bad fire, Mrs. Koala. Blinky's idea of a fire brigade helped save us all. As the brave, esteemed, heroic bear of Green Bat. Oh, oh, Blinky, get on your mic. Oh, bloody Blinky. Oh. Ah, I found my bell lying on the ground. Blinky? You know, I've been thinking it would make an excellent fire bell. Yeah, people could ring it whenever there's an emergency. Now, isn't that a good idea, Blinky? Extraordinary! Thrill. I do exactly